Jamie. And I'm Stefan. And we, and we are... are... We always had a dream to travel Australia. So we packed up our lives and began our adventure in our renovated caravan called Rocket. Be sure to tune in every week to see where our adventures take us next. I had a little bit of group ride with uh, Tom and his wife, and Naomi, and myself. He's gonna show us the last giant in the area. Adorable. It's a giant. That's a big face. Yeah. It's big. You can slide down his foot. No, the pelicans are trying to get a free fish from the dolphins. See the fish? Oh yeah, it knocks it up. That's awesome, you can see the, the, yeah, the fish getting thrown out. The dolphins are. <laughs> are they? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What a hit. Decent effort, mate. Come on. Keep it going. Yeah. This gets pretty sandy, eh? Someone burned it up, unfortunately. But this is what he looked like. 
before he got burned. Ah, uh, would have been awesome. Damn people burn stuff. Oh, that's a good sketch. Ah, oh, it's a bit soft. So Tom let me borrow his M10, and uh, <laughs> I think it's the M10 III, I think. It's pretty good, it's um, it's 800 watts, and so apparently it can do like 38 k's an hour, which, I don't know, 800 watts, 38 k's, maybe down a steep hill, but um, yeah, in 35 k's range, 20 to 35, still I don't know about that, I think it would very much depend on the rider, but look at it, it's, it's very responsive, like it has a it has a really good like acceleration rate and braking rate like it's good and you can like turn on a dime like because of the small wheel it's super super responsive it is weird going quickly and then trying to turn it feels like it kind of like wants to stay straight which is a very strange feeling but um because yeah like check out the tire wait i'll go in the shade Because it's a very, it's a very flat tire. But yeah, look at it, it's tiny. Absolutely tiny. It's, uh, it's 10 kilos. Pretty adorable. I don't know if I could use it as my main wheel, but as a backup, it's, it's pretty good. Like you could easily just, you know, chuck in a backpack really. It's pretty cool. I know we tried, you can get up these little gutters pretty easy, like these ones. There's no clunking or anything, it feels pretty feels pretty solid for going up stuff. Might go for a bit of a ride around, explore. So after riding around for a bit, it feels uh, quite sketch at any amount of speed. But um, riding backwards and like tricks and such, it's super easy. Like just doing a uh, doing doing stuff, like turning and twisting and riding backwards, like I could ride this way and then just kind of like whoop, ride backwards super easy like it feels quite quite uh i guess steady when it comes to maneuverable maneuverability unless you're going quick and turning that feels weird and also going quick in general it feels a bit like kind of like it'd be whoop, whoop. i'll show you what i mean like i'll do a bit of do a little bit of speed like it feels a bit like Kind of like a. I always feel myself getting like wobbles, which is weird because like obviously I can go a lot faster than this. But maybe it's uh, the wheel profile and the uh, the size. I don't really know, but it definitely feels a lot less stable. But uh, at speed anyway. But small, it feels like the uh, sorry slow. It feels super stable. Like Tom was saying, you can feel like you can pretty much stand still, and I I I agree with that. Like you can go so slow, like barely even moving and still feel like you're not gonna fall off. And like, I reckon I could probably pendulum it pretty, pretty good without having to, <laughs> not too bad. Definitely better than I could cam my own wheel though. Like with my, my wheel, I have to really like go forwards and backwards to get, keep myself balanced. Like this, this hold balance really well at slow speed. Like so well. It's probably to do with that like flatter looking sort of tire and the diameter of it. But yeah, pretty interesting. It's cool, cool little tire. Cool little wheel. I, uh, I don't hate it test its off-road capabilities. All right, so grass, pretty good. Just feels a bit bumpy. Uh, sand, I think sand will be uh, a big having to step off. 
but we'll see because it gets pretty loose around this bit. Not amazing with sand, but it's not too bad. Like, it did better than I thought. <sighs> that counter steer. <laughs> you got the counter steering down pat. That is pretty sick. Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. Yep. <laughs> Just mark it. Yeah. They got ponies and mainly craft goods. a bit of a beach. That's a little bit of a beach. Typical Sunday, I guess. Let's check it out. The size of that. I'll see if I can do this. It's going to be hard while I'm riding. It's because they don't have to sit there. They float wherever. Do the duck dance. Do the duck dance. The duck's over here doing it. Go on, you know you want to. There he goes. Oh, that was, must have been a deep one. Yeah, a little bit of seaweed. You can see him looking for the next piece. Where am I going to be out of reach? Any of these? Do the duck dance. That looks so funny. Oh, good stuff. We're exploring around. This place is called Quarry Park, and they've literally built a park into a quarry. How awesome is that? Once upon a time, anyway, it was a quarry. Pretty awesome. Wait, let me just. Yeah, look at that. They've got a slide going down the quarry bit. What do you mean? Stay, buddy. A plastic slide? Yeah, it's gonna burn your ass in that cute dress. Oh, what about this? There you go. Oh man, what the hell? How size is of them? Oh, thank God you're safe. <laughs> the static on this. You can really feel the static, hey? Maybe she's safe enough. Can I go down? Me! Oh, the static. Oh, God, I'm nervous. Ah! <laughs> Do you hear that? Touch me. Oh, that, that must have taken it away. Pretty cool. Plastic slide. What were they thinking? Must have gone over a bolt in my ass. So we've been riding around and it happened to be hard rubbish day. And we're like, I was riding around, I saw one of these. And it's um, it's a kayak seat. And it's like the really expensive ones with like the uh, the silicon in them. So it's pretty, pretty nice, and I happen to just find one, and I'm like, oh, sorry, Nay. We just happen to come across a second one. So now we've got a nice seat each for the kayak. Also found these, it's if you hurt yourself, it's like rehabilitation things. 
We've seen them for like $160 on Facebook buy and sell, so may as well see if we can sell them. Pretty good. Also found a bit of foam, found some good stuff. And uh, yeah, make a little bit of money on the road. There's also a fish tank, which uh, they're worth a little bit. Might look up its size, see what it's worth. Maybe come back with the car, who knows? Look at this dolphin. So we're probably done around like 50k just exploring. As you can tell, it's like almost night time now. And it's going to show me your top speed now. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it keeps topping out at like 15. I 15 until it drops me. Yeah. But it drops, see? Now it's at 12. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, like I keep riding and it's just like, wait, slow down. I'm like, all right. And I'm on like, I think 16%, which is pretty long when you're in a cycle. Apparently my safety margin is 75%. So if I hit a hard hill, 75% chance it won't drop me. Yeah, you'd be pretty low. It takes a while for it to get started speed limiting. And that's it. Try it. Try and accelerate. Can you? Oh, that's no, working. See if you can go again. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Uh, that's not letting you. Hold it down. Oh, no, nah, it's gone. <laughs> I almost made it home. We've got like a K left, I think. Is it? <laughs> Yeah, it's like a do. Oh. oh, I'll push her. Oh yeah, it's got like a little. What's that thing flashing? That thing that flashes. I kind of want to like. It goes again. It says E zero zero. Maybe yeah, it's just dead battery. Poor bastard. Almost made it. I told Don't you. Don't drop me. I jinxed it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's just like I wouldn't be mad if I had to walk from this point. And then it's like, oh. are you mad? And then huh? <laughs> Fair enough. Not I'm not mad. I could push you, probably. Yeah, you want to get your, your steps in. Look at you with your helmet, you can take it off now. 